Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this video, I want us to listen to a message from Holy Family Basilica Church, Nairobi. The message is going to inform the basis of our analysis right now. Ajui mahali pa kuzichukua. Lakini my friend, utashangaa sana. You will be surprised. Kwa sababu, mfalme wetu si mfalme muongo. Si mfalme wa uongo. Hawezi kutamia kwa mahi ndiyo njia mbandala ya kuweza kufika au kuuridhi mfalme halafu he has something up his sleeve. He knows what he's talking about. He's not a lying king. Lakini, katika nchi yetu taifa letu libangu wetu tuna viongozi wa falme malkia ambao kazi yao ni uongo actually we are soon making history as the number one most lying nation is it ocean corruption is coming in a close second fan mzuri sasa hivi sikiliza sauti natoka upande huu wengi wenu nafikiri mlipata shida kufika sehemu hii kwa sababu njia hii imefungwa njia hii imefungwa Padre wetu msimamizi wa parokia hii asubuhi hii ameniambia kwamba kuna mawasiliano yalikuwa kabla hata kabla ya hizi tamasha ziko huku upande huu wa kushoto wangu Isitoshe mchungaji wetu mkuu askofu ametoa ma maombi kadhaa kwamba at least make the church accessible to our Christians listen how do your family now na wengi wao ni wa Kristo ndio maana juzi hapa Ijumaa na nisema hivi Mark Magadhi alikuwa anapenda sana he was so much admiring Christianity but akasema kwamba I love the, the Christianity but I cannot be a Christian kwa sababu gani look at how we treat each other are we kings and queens to each other we have very few king and queen ships the rest the majority are king and queen goats maje ukiitwa okay, mbuzi kwa sababu umekosa hii dhana ya kuwa mkristo urithi ule ufalme this is our nation a nation of corrupt nation kings and queens wanting to amass wealth as possible yes that's a wonderful sermon and the message coming out is very clear we have a lying king corruption is rampant in the government the king and his officials are in massing wealth for themselves they are using the public offices they hold to enrich themselves that's a very direct message and i believe the message is meant squarely for william samoy ruto ruto campaigned on the basis of a god fearing leader why is he now lying if at all he was a christian the way he used to say he's coming out as a lying king so the big question is was he even a christian in the first place for those who have been following me here for some years now i've always maintained and i repeat that william ruto and his team successfully killed the church in kenya a true christian you will just know him from the fruit he or she bears william ruto bears 
hatred, divisions, propaganda, and such vices. He got power through lies and deceit. That cannot be a godly leader. So William Ruto successfully used the church, the church pulpit. He lied to the congregation and to the Christians that he was a God-given leader, which is now coming out. He was not. So he used the church pulpit badly. And besides using the church pulpit badly, he also succeeded in compromising some so-called men and, men and women of God. And instead of worshipping God, they started worshipping him. I'm of a very strong opinion that we are being punished for having a William Ruto as a leader, a man who mocked God and continues mocking God. I believe that all these troubles we are going through, it might be possible we are being punished. And the Holy Family Basilica is now setting the pace. And I believe that's how the church should be. The church should be very bold to power. Bold in speaking truth to power. And in, in the recent days, we are seeing that boldness from Holy Family Basilica Church, Nairobi. And that's giving some Kenyans confidence in the church. And uh, if that trend continues, then once more Kenyans will renew, will renew their faith in the church. From that message, any person who was still doubting, because sometimes when we talk, we are being told we are taking sides, but we are not taking sides. We are just saying the truth as it is. The truth is always one. And the truth has no halves. The truth is only one. We've been saying William has failed. We've been talking of corruption, the ethnic divisions, and even now the church is actually now just hearing out or voicing out what we have been saying. So it's actually true. William Ruto, in the first place, was not fit holding a public office. We are in this mess because of integrity. Ruto and his team do not pass that test on leadership and integrity. That's why all this mess is happening. The lesson Kenya should now learn here, before you vote in a leader, look at the leader's integrity. And to understand it, to know a leader's integrity, look at the leader's track record. If he has been a thief before, he is still a thief. If he was a performer before, he will still perform. A leader's track record is very, very important. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But as a nation, we should all strive to get leaders of integrity. It should not just be business as usual. Any leader supporting Kenya Kwanzaa government, in my honest opinion, should be rejected. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Any person who may want to support our forum, contact me through that number below or feel free to channel your support to that number. Let's meet 
in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you.